Hello and welcome to my 2022-2023 Best Modular Helmet video. By now I'm sure you know the drill. I'm going to be talking you through my personal best 5 modular helmets and telling you a bit more about the pros and the cons of each lid. What do you think about that? Let's go! If you were to ask me my opinion on the 5 best modular helmets right now, and believe me people do, then these 5 would be in my lineup, and I'm going to tell you why. Everybody's different, so everybody has different needs and wishes when it comes to a motorcycle helmet. Some riders use their bikes once every couple of weeks for a calm Sunday cruise, but then again others ride to work every day or even use their bikes to travel around the globe. Not all helmets are the same and they simply won't always fit every type of bike. I'll show you a few key specifications and offer my opinion on the features that make these helmets unique. You'll know which helmet to choose by the end of this video. If you saw my video from two years ago, then you won't be surprised to see the Scorpion Exotech back in the lineup. This isn't the regular Exotech though, this is the carbon version. The only difference from the regular polycarbonate version is that the shell is made from a carbon fibre fibreglass composite material to make it lighter and stronger. All new Exotech Evo helmets are ECE2206 rated as you would expect. The Exotech is a very complete modular helmet or hybrid helmet as I like to call it. The unique thing about this modular helmet is that you can flip the chin bar all the way to the back of the helmet, hence the hybrid. Similar systems can be seen on helmets by Shark, Roof, HJC and LS2. There'll be more on that last one a little later. Being able to flip the chin bar all the way back is a really nice feature, especially if you do a lot of urban riding. It does add quite a bit of comfort on hot days when you're able to transform your closed modular helmet into an open face helmet within one second. And it's also much more comfortable that the chin bar doesn't hang around on top like with traditional modular helmets. The problem there is that the helmet will yank at your head much more at higher speeds, something that the Scorpion Exotech will do much less when worn in the open position. The helmet features dual homologation, meaning that you're legally allowed to ride around with this helmet open or closed. That's your call. This is becoming more of a regular thing nowadays, and all the helmets in this lineup are actually PJ certified for use as an open face helmet and full face helmet. To legally use this helmet in the open position, you will need to use the switch on the side of the helmet to lock the chin bar into place. There's a pinlock anti-fog lens in the box, you install that on the inside of your visor and it works like double glazing windows to make sure your visor doesn't get all foggy. The pinlock is the same size as the visor itself, so there won't be any lens edges obscuring your view. By the way, if you're riding with the visor down and your chin bar up and you want to close the chin bar, then you're in luck, because it's extremely simple. You just grab the chin bar, pull it back over the top, and you will see that the visor automatically retracts, making it quick and easy to go from open face configuration back to full face mode without even thinking about it. This clever system is actually one of the reasons that this helmet is so unique when compared to some of the others. This helmet would not be complete without an internal sun visor, which can be operated by using the slider on the left side of the shell. And the ventilation inlets on this helmet are also very easy to operate with the switches on the top and also on the front of the helmet. So who is this helmet made for? As always, this is something that is pretty much down to one's own interpretation. In my opinion, this helmet will work best on tour bikes, motor scooters and MP3s. It will probably perform best within and around the city limits. If you're planning on doing a lot of riding for work, or maybe even travelling long distances, then this might not be the helmet for you. You might be better off with one of the other helmets in this video. Hybrid helmets are all the rage nowadays, which is quite understandable. That's why my list contains two of them this time around. The LS2 Advant is not unlike the Exotech when it comes to looks and features. However, 
This helmet is available at a friendlier price point and it does have a few advantages over the Scorpion. How's that for a pun? With the helmet being the cheapest model in the lineup, you'd think it's made completely out of polycarbonate. Is it? Well, yes, but actually no. LS2 has given this helmet a KPA outer shell, which stands for Kinetic Polymer Alloy. And according to their website, this is a proprietary blend of polycarbonate, space-age thermoplastics, and additional materials specifically formulated by LS2. I know it sounds like something you'd read on a bag of coffee beans, but it basically means the helmet is mostly polycarbonate, but reinforced with fiberglass composite. Now that's good news for the strength of the shell, but it also helps keep the weight down. The aforementioned shell, by the way, comes in two sizes. Speaking of weight, let me just tell you how well the weight is balanced on this helmet. Many helmets tend to have more weight at the back or at the front. That's not unusual, it's just the way they're built. This helmet seems to have gotten some extra love and care when it comes to this, as the helmet feels very well balanced and very comfortable. The PJ homologation works automatically on this hybrid helmet, so all you have to do is lift up the chin bar and Bob's your uncle. The integrated sun visor feels sturdy and is easy to operate, as you would expect from LS2. There is a pinlock anti-fog lens in the box and it is extremely quick and easy to remove and replace the helmet's outer visor thanks to the super simple shield replacement system. Now let's talk about the cheek pads for a second. There's two things I really like about them. Firstly, I think it's great that they reach out quite far forward, which helps keep the noise in the helmet down. And secondly, I'm pleasantly surprised to see the emergency quick release system on these cheek pads. Usually this is something only seen on full face helmets. I like the stainless steel ratchet as well. We don't usually see them on helmets at this price point, so it is a breath of fresh air to get this premium chin strap. This helmet isn't exactly a Shoei Neotech 2 or a Shubath C5, but it is a really good helmet for a very decent price. The fit and shape of the helmet are both very good, everything feels solid enough, and it comes with pretty much all the options you're going to need. It will serve any touring biker well, and it is ECE 2206 certified, and thus ready for the future. The Shoei Neotech 2 kind of sells itself. This helmet has been on the market since 2018 and it's still going strong. It's just a really great helmet. It was actually in our 5 best modular helmets videos from 2018 and 2020. So I gather that this will be the third and last time. What's next Shoei? The outer shell of the Neotech 2 is made from a few different materials. The so-called advanced integrated matrix is built up from multiple layers of fiberglass and aramid fibres. The outer shell also comes in three different sizes, which is something that is still a little too rare when it comes to modular helmets. I don't think it's too much to ask. For the first time ever, this helmet is a bit of an outsider in the way that it is ECE 2205 certified and not 2206. I don't doubt that the helmet would pass the new rating for a second, but at the end of the day, it doesn't have it. So if that's a deal breaker for you, then you're going to have to wait for the next Neotech. The Shoei Neotech 2 has a fantastic fit, this helmet genuinely fits the vast majority of people who try it on. But if there's still room for improvement, then we can fix that with the Shoei Personal Fitting System. This is a unique custom fitting system developed by the Japanese helmet manufacturer, and it is a service we can perform in all of our shops. You can read more about this by clicking on the link in the description. Now the interior of this helmet feels soft and durable at the same time. It's a premium set of materials and it's not much different on the underside. The neck padding fits tightly around the neck to help eliminate wind blowing inside from under the helmet. It's partly thanks to this feature that this helmet also belongs in the category of the quietest modular helmets. Now the Neotech 2 brings a few special features that are not seen on the other models. The curved visor edges are a good example of this. They curved the visor against the helmet shell as tightly as possible to keep the visor wind and waterproof. And of course the visor won't fog up as you get a Pinlock Max Vision anti-fog lens in the box. Another feature that charmed me is the way you can lock the chin bar into place for the PJ homologation. Previously this would be a little bit more unique but I'm glad we're seeing this on more and more helmets now, especially thanks to the ECE 2206 rating. 
Shoei have developed two fully integrated communication systems together with Sena, the SRL2 and the SRL Mesh. The latter is brand new and has been based on Sena's state-of-the-art mesh technology, which allows you to connect with virtually unlimited amounts of riders. The SRL2 system is a little older and is limited to eight riders in total. This helmet comes across as a tour helmet, but really it's a bit of an all-rounder. That's probably the best way to describe it. It works on pretty much any bike. You can easily use this lid for long trips, traveling the world, going to work, or even something as simple as cruising down to your local Tesco supermarket for some biscuits and tea. What kind of helmet is the new AGV Tour Modular? Well, the answer's in the question. It's Tour, through and through. That doesn't mean it won't do its job on any other type of bike, but it is wise to stick with a touring bike, or in some cases, maybe a naked bike for the best results. If you ride a sporty bike, then you might want to take a look at AGV Sport Modular, or just buy a full face lid. The new AGV Tour Modular was one of the first flip-up helmets to feature the new ECE 2206 certification. Well, what does that mean? Basically, that motorcycle helmets are tested according to stricter rules which raise the bar for helmet manufacturers. For example, they have added a rotational force test and tests with accessories such as a sun visor or integrated communication systems. Great news for all of us bikers because it makes our helmets safer. The outer shell of this helmet comes in three different shell sizes and consists of carbon fiber, aramid, and fiberglass. The five density EPS inner shell comes in four sizes. Something interesting about this shell is that it has been shaped in such a way to feel more or less weightless when riding at 130 km an hour. This will depend on a number of factors, but it is true that even heavy lids can feel light and comfy during this type of ride. These things are wind tunnel tested and it is pretty clever stuff. The visor on the new Tour Modular is extremely thick and it feels very sturdy. It has even been said to withstand a blast comparable to that of a cheap polycarbonate helmet, which is pretty impressive considering it's the shield we're talking about. Even the visor mechanism is solid metal and it locks into place when you close it. The visor of course is prepared for a pinlock lens which comes with the helmet in the box. The PJ homologation on this helmet works pretty much the same as on the Neotech 2. All you have to do is push the chin bar up far enough until it clicks into the lock position. Closing the chin bar is the same in reverse. I really like this comfy, luxurious lining. It looks good, it feels good, it's style and quality. Italians have always been great at combining the two. The lining is easy to remove and it is even possible to give it a wash. The same counts for the other four lids in this video as well. Some great practical features on this helmet are the vents. There are three vents on the chin and one large vent on the top, easy to operate and pleasant to have. The exhaust at the back of the helmet allows warm air to escape from the helmet. The tour modular is prepared for AGV's inside Bluetooth communication system, which is easy to install. The system is based on Cardo's DMC mesh network and it allows you to connect to a large number of riders. As I already mentioned, this helmet is a tour helmet and will work best on a tour bike or a naked bike. After a couple of ups and downs with Schubert in the past few years, we're really glad to finally have the new, long-awaited C5 model, and so far, we're quite impressed. The Schubert C5 is classed as a tour sport helmet, which is largely down to the jumbo visor with matching pinlock anti-fog lens. And yes, that is a genuine pinlock lens. Thanks to the large viewing angles, this helmet is very suitable for use on sports bikes and naked bikes. I recently tested the helmet and I'm very positive about the size of the visor, it works very well. 
Just like on AGV's new lid, this helmet features the new ECE 2206 certification. And if I'm not mistaken, then Schuberf was actually the very first manufacturer to bring out a modular helmet with this new safety rating. So that automatically means that the helmet also features the PJ dual homologation as well, which is a legal requirement for 2206 modular helmets and the switches on the side for that here. The outer shell of the helmet is made according to the direct fibre processing method, which is nothing new. But it is new that the fibreglass outer shell has now been reinforced with one layer of carbon fibre. Now this is good for the strength of the outer shell, but it also helps keep the weight down a little bit. The helmet weighs around 1640 grams in the smallest shell size, which is fine for this type of lid. Speaking of shell sizes, this helmet comes in two outer shell sizes, which I really don't understand for this price. I can't think of any other helmet in this price category that comes in only two shell sizes, and I really think the next model should have at least three. There's always some room for improvement, and with the C5, I think that is it. The helmet features a large integrated sun visor, which can be easily operated by moving the slider on the left side of the shell. You can even adjust it a little bit with the switch on the bottom. Another interesting feature is this double air inlet on the chin, which directs air upwards along the visor, but also offers direct to mouth ventilation. The helmet has a good fit and it is much more true to the C3 than the previous C4 model was. The material of the interior feels soft and premium, so I wouldn't worry too much about comfort when choosing this helmet. The inner lining is now also much easier to remove and it even has a function that allows you to seal off the ventilation holes on the inside of the shell. Kind of a winter option. A very important feature for tour riders is the preparation for a communication system and this helmet has just that. It has a plug and play system which is called the SC2 and it is based on the Sena 50S which means just like with the Shoei mesh system it has the mesh network. Ideal for riding with large groups. The Shubuff C5 will get you to your destination in a dry, safe and comfortable manner. The helmet can easily be used for long trips, short trips, any trips really. It's a great lid. Oh, and if you want to know how quiet it is, then you should check out my C5 vs Neotech 2 road test video. I'll leave a link down below for you. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video on the five best modular helmets. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that you like watching the video and that you now have a better idea of which helmet is the right one for you. It would be very much appreciated if you'd like to click the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our channel. That way we can keep putting in all the hard work and you've always got something to watch. Check out our full collection of motorcycle helmets over at fortomoto.com or come and see us in one of our shops in the Netherlands. Either way, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Ride safe, cheerio. Thank you.